Hey everybody, and welcome back to the next part in my dialing in series uh, for our Line 6 Helix. Lately I've been doing a lot of artist specific uh, dialing in videos where I've picked particular artists, particular guitar players and bands and tried to pick a, a song and, and dial something in that's sort of reminiscent of that song. Uh, but when I first started this series, I was actually just doing more um, particular amps, just kind of trying to dial in a decent tone out of a particular amp. And I'm gonna go back to kind of going back and forth between those two. A lot of people have been asking me if I could start to work with just specific amps again. And I thought, yeah, that would be that would be fun. It was always fun to just pull up my template and then sort of add the amp and see how quickly we could create something. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use the derailed Ingrid amp, which is an amp that I really got kind of excited about when it first came out. And I used it for a few guitar solo cover videos. And then for some reason, just other things I was working on, I never really got back to playing with it. So I really haven't messed with it much. So I'm going to learn about it in front of you guys on camera here and see what we can come up with uh, using it. So I thought, let's see if we can, and I hope this is possible, uh, Hope uh, see if we can make up maybe a four snapshot uh, patch that could maybe work as a good all-purpose kind of, you know, clean to, to heavy rock tone, um, starting with clean, maybe slightly uh, broken up into something that's more pushed and overdriven into something that's more uh, really distorted and all just within the amp and see how we can uh, go about getting that going. Okay. So let's dive into HX edit. What I have here is my normal template that I always pull up with my uh, split crossover setup. Right now they're just set to zero. So it's not going to have any effect on the sound. Uh, my compressor, like I normally have it at the end, I've boosted the peak reduction just slightly. I've been doing that a little bit more going uh, from five up to six instead. Just seems to work a little nicer lately for me. Um, my EQ just set flat, except a low cut at 100 hertz and a high cut at 12 kilohertz. These are my starting points, right? Reverb and delay off right now. Um, so basically it's just going into a uh, low cut, high cut, and a little bit of compression at the end. So let's pull up our derailed Ingrid amp. Now I'm gonna start off by pulling up the amp and the cab just to see what they pair it with. Um, by default, and it's a 412 greenback 20. Okay, so let's just change that to amp. We'll come over here and we'll add that cab, which I said was a 412 greenback 20. Okay, it comes up with a 121 ribbon, set at one inch, let's leave it alone. Let's just see what we have sound-wise. Now I'm using my Godin Progression Plus. Uh, this is a, a Seymour Duncan JB Jr. pickup in the bridge. Now, right now, I can tell the output is quite low. So I'm going to come up to my final block. I'm going to boost that way up. Let's see what that does. Okay, I'll leave myself some headroom there. So that's the sound of the amp as it just comes up with no tweaking at all other than the low and high cuts and a little bit of compression. <laughs> Pretty dark sound. I mean, that could be, uh, you know, lent a lot to the ribbon mic that we're using. So, um, right off the bat, I'm going to come in and do something, you know, just, just from hearing the characteristics of that amp. I'm going to come in and use my split crossover, set it 650. I'm going to just come in and right now, instinct, this might change later, but just instinctively boost maybe 3 dB, 3.5 dB above the 650 hertz crossover point and cut back like 2 dB underneath all that. Let's see what that did to the sound. That's already cleaned it up a little bit, right? You know, again, so if you hear it without those on. Just opens it up, gives it some clarity. That's why I like that that split cross over things so much. And like I said before, if we had a, a low and a high shelf uh, EQ in, in the Helix, we could kind of accomplish the same thing. All right, so that's fine. But now I want to uh, dive in here and let's name some snapshots here. We'll call uh, snapshot one just simply uh, clean. We'll go to snapshot two and call it... Uh, push, so get a bit of a broken up sound, uh, 
snapshot three, I'll just call OD for overdrive and then for lack of a better names here, I don't know, distortion, okay. And we'll see what we can dial in. Okay, so let's go back to our clean snapshot. Now, now I'm gonna go right to my amp here uh, and I'm gonna say, okay, well, obviously I want, I'm gonna bring my master back quite a bit, okay, because I don't want any of that power amp distortion kicking in. Bring my drive back. Now this is really gonna be personal preference depending on how clean you want your sound, right? Right there. I'm really liking that. I haven't even touched the tone stack or anything, right? Now I might go in here looking at my meters. Okay with that. Let's leave our channel volume at seven and a half. So we made the change, bring the master to five. The tone stack, I'm not even gonna mess around with. I'm really digging this. This is this is kind of nice, right? Nothing wrong with this at all. Um, okay, so let's come in and try a couple of different middle pickup bridge. Slight, slight breakup when I go to the bridge pickup and hit it a little bit harder. I'm fine with that though. Um, okay, let's see now if I can come in with a verb. I'm gonna, ah, what the heck, let's, let's try a 63 spring verb. And we'll, good. Touch a pre-delay. I'm okay with that. Again, it's gonna be all personal preference. You can dial this in however you see fit for your personal needs. But... Beautiful, okay. It's nice on the neck pickup. I'm okay with that. All right, let's save that. Okay, so now let's move on to our push channel. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do here then is mess, I'm gonna wanna mess with my drive. So I'm gonna set this to snapshot and uh, let's just set our master to snapshot as well, just in case we wanna make a change to it. Channel volume to snapshot in case we want to make a change to it. So I want something that's going to push a little bit more and maybe break up now. Okay, so let's do this. Let's boost our master a touch. A little bit more on our drive. That might be enough breakup for you. Some people might want a little bit more. Let's go a little bit more on the drive. And I'll go just a hair more. Now that's on the neck pickup bridge. Very, very nice. I'm actually gonna go in and change the presence here to snapshot mode as well and just give this a hair more. Good with that. Okay, so let's save that up. 
We'll go to our overdrive now. And depending on how much overdrive we want here, um, what did we end up with here again on our push? We were at 4.5 on drive and six on master. So I'm gonna come up and just bump the master up a little bit more again. And let's even go up there and see how that works. Bridge pickup. <laughs> I'm going to add that presence back in to give it a little more cut. All right. Um, let's go touch more, maybe. I'm happy with that. Okay, so now let's see what our balance is like. Okay, as to be expected, we're getting progressively louder as we go, right? So what I'm gonna do here is, we got our channel volume at seven and a half, so I'm gonna go to my clean. I'm going to up my channel volume to eight and a half on my push to eight and then leave it at 7.5 here. Let's see how that works. I'm gonna to try to use my foot controls here. So, clean. Let's go a little bit more volume on the clean. That's not bad. You know, I, I, if I was at a gig and whatnot, I might tweak that as the night goes on if, if one was more, you know, poking out a little bit more than another. Okay. Not bad so far. I'm liking the tones. Um, okay, so let's go to our distortion patch and let's kind of go all out here. Go go kind of crazy with this. Um, where were we at here? So we were at 6.5 and 7 on the drive and master respectively there. Uh, 6.5 and 7, eh? So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to really go nuts here. 8, and let's push those power tubes a little bit more. Let's go 8 and 8 on each of these. Again, it probably could use just a little bit more cut. Let's bring that presence in up to maybe eight here. Very nice tone out of this amp. Really liking this. This is a, it could really be a favorite of mine, I'm thinking. So uh, let's check the balance in, in between the snapshots again. So clean. Okay, I'm still thinking the overdrive might just be a little hair too loud. Distortion was as well. So I'll just bring the channel volumes down on those and see what that does. Now, some people on their distortion channel may want to say, you know what, I want a bit of a booster because I'm going to use that for lead, right? And we could also say maybe on our distortion, uh, I'm going to come in here and add in my delay because it might be for my lead. <laughs> Okay, so I have feedback 18, mixed around 25. I'm fine with that. Again, this is all going to be personal preference, right? All right, I'm really liking these tones. Now, one thing I'm probably going to do, though, whoop, I guess our, uh, our verb has been off on all of these as well, eh? Let me just turn that on on these other snapshots. And yeah, we're good. Okay. 
Now that's leaning a little bit to the darker side of things. And the overall sound here has a subtle bit of mud to it that I would want to get rid of. And that's why I wasn't really worrying too much about that. I'm going to come in now with my mid frequency here and I'm going to dial that back in and around 400, somewhere in between there. Q of maybe 1.5. I'm just going to pull out a couple dB in there. I'm going to come in, let's see what that does. I'm going to come in at around 4.5k, Q of 1, just going to add a couple dB, give it a little more cut maybe. <laughs> I'm really liking that. Uh, the bottom end, I... I mean, we could always come in here and sneak in just a hair more if we wanted, I guess. Neck pickup. in that nothing wrong with that okay let's see what that eq though did to all our other snapshots so here's our clean now with those same eq changes <laughs> nice i might actually just come in for the heck of it and say let's go snapshot on the mix for the Ferb, and just on this one, let's bump it up, give it a little more ambience. A little much, maybe. Okay, so it's got a lot of clarity. That's the neck pickup, by the way. Here's the middle. And the bridge. It's nice. I'm going to come over just to the base on this, turn it into a snapshot just for the clean channel. I'm going to add a little tiny bit more bottom on that, see what that effect has. Our guitars are all going to change this, uh, our monitoring system and whatnot. Everybody can tweak this for their, for their own liking. So there's our clean. Let's see what it did to our push. That's 
That's neck pickup, bridge. Nice. Uh, volume wise. Good. Overdrive. bit too loud um, try that yeah I mean you can balance it I just use a channel volume to balance that and you know it works nicely so I'm pretty happy with that as just sort of a, a generic patch that people could start with as a template and maybe tweak to their own liking. But there's a there's a, a good uh, four snapshot uh, patch that I think would be a good starting point for um, any gig, really. I mean, anything that needs from, you know, uh, funky clean stuff or bluesy clean stuff, uh, you know, even, even going to our clean here and, uh, you know, dialing back our tone control. <laughs> You're gonna get a bit of a jazzy tone out of that if you want with the ne the uh, neck pickup and tone rolled back. So lots of possibilities on this, and uh, I think it's a good starting point. So what a great amp, the derailed Ingrid. So I'm gonna do some more of these, I think, uh, in the future. I'll do some artist uh, specific ones and more amp specific ones, as a lot of people seem to like these. And I think it gives a good kind of springboard starting point for folks to grab these and maybe use them with their bands for live or in the studio. And uh, there's so many great amp models we have at our, our fingertips here in the Helix. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope that was of some use. Uh, I hope I didn't bore you uh, too badly. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be back again with more uh, videos like this in the very near future. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like the video, share it if you don't mind. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, I really appreciate all the kind words and support you guys always give me. And uh, thank you again for tuning in. And we will see you again very soon. Ciao for now.